Hello golfers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm playing at Spofforth Golf Course near Harrogate. This is a par 72 course. I have played it a couple of times, only just breaking 90 once with a score of 89. So looking to try and beat that today. So down on the first tee then, the first is a fairly straight par 4, just short of 400 yards. As usual I'm just hitting driver, trying to get this down as close to the green as possible. First driver swing of the day, this goes slightly right and not as long as I'd like. Gets a little bit caught up in this longer grass, leaving me a 5 iron into the green. I catch this pretty well, I think it was a bit more of a flyer lie than I was expecting and it runs to this back ridge behind the green. Chipping onto the green, apologies about the dodgy camera angle, they do get better than this. Uh, that chip not been too bad, leaving me a chance at par. Which I'm able to drop. Very happy with that start. The second then is a 155 yard par 3. I'm hitting 7 iron here. Unfortunately, you might be able to hear the wind there, but I think it's just sort of pushed it out to the right hand side, left it short of the green, leaving me a 50 degree wedge shot in. And this just runs a little bit past the flag. Still gives me an opportunity to par the hole though. Haven't hit the putt, I don't think it's quite online anyway, but I'll take a bogey there. The third is a tricky par 5, I usually make a bit of a mess of this hole. There's no point taking driver off the tee because you'll go too long, so I've just hit 4 iron here looking to get it about 190-200 yards down to give me a look around the corner. Now when looking down this fairway, the trees actually narrow about another 200 yards down, so you can see I've hit this over to the right hand side to try and give me a look in, and I'm very happy with that shot. This leaves me a 56 degree wedge into the green. This felt really good at the time. Unfortunately, I think it just rolled to the back of the green. Not a bad shot though. And this gives me a birdie putt. which if I'd have hit a smidgen harder, I think would have dropped in the hole. But can't be grudge a par, definitely on this hole. The fourth hole then is a fairly straight par four. And again, I've ballooned my driver out to the right and into the trees this time. So I don't have a line into the green. I've usually got a pretty reliable slice with my three wood. And as you can see, this hasn't happened this time, it's gone straight to die. And I've nearly killed somebody on the next fairway. So now I'm chipping back towards the hole from the fairway to the left hand side onto the green, just 65 yards. And this goes pretty well actually. Come on. Giving me another look at par. Just don't hit that too well. You'll notice I'm playing with Adam today. He uh, played this course with me. We usually play this course together. Um, so you might see his ball on the green and him lingering in the back shot of the uh, the clips. Hole five then is a fairly short par four. Sort of small bend to the left. I didn't mean to cut this as fine on the left hand side of these trees as I've done it and I have actually ended up in the trees. So playing this second shot onto the green has been a bit difficult and I've just had to punch out with the seven iron. It's left me just short of the green, so I'm again, I'm chipping on. This club been very nice to me today. And that'll give me a solid look at making a par. Which is brutal. It was never going to drop, Ads was trying to get me to wait 10 seconds, but that one was never going to fall unfortunately. Hole 6 then is another par 5. I've tried to be clever here and hit a 4 iron, just because it's trees either side and I was scared of losing the ball. Unfortunately I've not hit this any distance and now I'm somewhat chasing this hole. But I get a good connection here with my 3 wood. And uh, that sort of makes up for the dodgy tee shot. Leaving me an 8 iron into the green, which I catch really well and it looked dead on line to begin with. 
Uh, it takes a weird bounce and ends up in the bunker on the left hand side of the green. Chipped out then. Don't catch it too well but it runs onto the front edge and gives me a look at making a par. It's close but no cigar. Tap it in for a bogey. All sevens another par four, 367 yards. I've risked the driver this time and just left it up on the left hand side of the fairway so not mad at that at all. 155 yards in, I'm hitting seven iron. I've sliced this a little and missed the green on the right hand side. So again I'm chipping. And that one nearly drops, that would have been nice for a birdie. I thought I'd leave this clip in just because Adam left a flag in here and you can see it's over the ball. Sometimes you can think that this is easy but I find this really distracting and you can see Adam's missed a fairly easy putt here and I put that down to the, the flag shadow. Let me know in the comments what you think, would you, uh, would you leave the flag in there, would you have it out? And that's a good par, happy with that one. This is a 200 yard par 3. Fairly straight, but I've sliced this four iron slightly and caught it a bit fat, I think. It's not gone anywhere near as far as I was hoping. So yet again, I'm chipping on. I wouldn't expect to do this hole in par, given how long it is. But this has given me a good look at it. And I've managed it. The chipping really saving me today. I don't want to know. No, I'm not that was the dialogue between me and Adam at the start of the ninth. Him insinuating basically how good my score was, but I just didn't want to know, I don't like knowing. So I'm hitting driver down the ninth. This is a 376 yard par four. I've got 197 into the green here, so I'm hitting four iron. And I leave this just short left of the green. So again, I'm chipping. And that's not too bad. Adam's left his trolley. You can see what's happened to that. Put for par then. And should be able to clean up for bogey. Worst put of the day. It's a bit of a disappointment that just because of how good that, that front nine's been. First double on the card. But still, not bad at all. So at the halfway point, I'm six over par. The ninth hole being a bit of a shame, but I'll never complain about having a first nine holes like that. It puts me in a very good position for setting my best score at this course. And if that isn't worth subscribing, I don't know what is. So thanks if you do subscribe. Let's crack on with the back nine. The tenth then is a tricky par four because even though it's only 376 yards, the fairway cambers to the right, as you can probably see from the video, and it's uphill. So even if when you hit a good tee shot like I've done here, you do end up on the right hand side hitting up the hill. So I've hit seven iron trying to go for the green, which is up on a shelf, and I've just sort of pulled this left uh, and ended up in the trees. You can see this is not a particularly nice shot at all. I can't see really what I'm aiming for, and I'm just trying to punch this towards the green. doesn't go badly at all actually and I end up on the far left side. I put for par then and it's a good pace and means I can actually tap this one in for bogey. I'll take that on that hole every day to be fair. The 11th then is a longish par 5, 472 yards. Again this campers down to the right you can hear Adam laughing at how slicey my drive is there. But this leaves me a three wood in, 250 yards. Again, I've got a fairly reliable slice with this club and it just sort of bends the ball round the corner towards the green. This leaves me a small 50 degree wedge into the green, which goes pretty well.
and I actually have a put at birdie here. So, not making the mistake that Adam made with the flag, that comes straight out. And I missed the putt anyway. But again, I will never begrudge a par on these par fives. The 12th then is another short par four that sort of curls round to the left. So I'm just laying up here with a four iron to give myself a chip in. That leaves me 80 yards in feel confident from this distance and I judge this one not too bad sort of middle front of the green with the pin at the back there's a bit of undulation on this green though so it's not an easy putt yeah not a great putt there leaving me a tricky one for par which I've missed unfortunately and a tap in for a bogey that feels like a shot dropped at least there. So this is a tricky par 3. You sort of downhill 175 yards with a ditch sort of 150 yards. And as you can tell from this shot tracer, my ball landed 150 yards. So I've had to take a penalty drop here just before the ditch and chip this over onto the green. Unfortunately it's just rolled off the back so now I'm chipping back onto the green. That's not a bad chip though. And here's a putt for double bogey. And I was fuming at that. That's a triple bogey and that really bothered me that hole. Got to put it out of my mind now though for the 14th. But as you can tell from that tee shot, I'm still fuming. And I've smashed this driver straight into the trees about 100 yards in front of me. So I'm taking my medicine and just punching out with a 5 iron, making hard work at this hole, 175 yards left, I've hit 7 iron, looking back at this I'm not sure why because that was never going to get there, and the wind stopped that and left it a good bit short. So chipping on again, can this salvage this hole for me? It's like a two tiered green and unfortunately I've just caught the lower tier. So I'm having to put up up the tier towards the pin. I don't really give that enough beans. And I've left another tricky putt for a double bogey. And I haven't managed to drop that either. So annoyingly, it's back to back triple bogeys after such a good 12 holes. So now onto the 15th, this is sort of back down the small hill that we've come up, and again. I've smashed my driver into the trees on the left. So again I'm having to punch out on this par 4. Leaving me with in excess of 200 yards into the green for my third shot. This leaves me 210 into the green, and I'm hitting 3 wood, which is just the wrong club. I'm downhill, downwind, and this club goes flying past. The green here as you can see my concentration and decision making really been affected by these poor scores so now I'm relying on my chipping to save me and unfortunately it doesn't this time it doesn't even make the green so now I'm chipping on for my fifth shot and it's another poor chip and you can see how frustrated I'm getting now which leaves me a putt for double bogey which I put close, but again, none of the longish putts have really dropped and I tap in for another triple bogey. Three triple bogeys back to back after that brilliant start. So on to the 16th, I finally hit a good drive here. This is another power five, you start uphill and then it sort of curls around to the right a bit. So I've hit a fairly decent drive there. Left myself with a three wood shot in, which I've topped. 100 yards in front of me. It's not horrendous, it's still in play. It does leave me a, an approach into the green for the third shot with the seven iron, 147 yards away. I don't catch this particularly flush and it just ends up finishing short of the green. 
It's like a little lit hill up to the front of the green, so um, it's slightly uphill is this. I'm trying to put this close. It's not too bad. Gives me a putt for par. And again, just not dropping putts from that distance. But I'll tap him for a bogey. And on the par fives, I've played really well. I can't be disappointed with how I've played these par fives today. 17th then is a par three. And this is an awful shot. But the ground around the green does sort of camber down to left. So the ball actually ran down towards the green. So I'm not too far here. I've just done a little chip on. It's quite a quick green this though and it does run a little bit far past. Still, I put for par. I struggle with this hole usually. And I have done again. Very disappointed with that putt. And tap in for another bogey. So I just thought I'd show you one of Adam's drives. Oh, see you later. When he smokes them, he really smokes them. And this left him not very far in at all towards the green. That is gone. Over to mine then. 336 three, yards to the green. Yep. Absolutely. Mine's a bit higher than Adam's, but it does get me down there. I think leaving me an eight iron into the green. My iron players started to sort of slice out to the right as the day has gone on. I don't know if that's a little bit of fatigue or concentration, I'm not sure. But it leaves me a chip towards the pin. And the chipping's been the star of the day, really. It's really saved and made the round, to be honest. And left me a nice short putt here for a par to finish the, the round. And that leaves me with a score of 91. So a massively disappointing back nine considering how well I played on the front. I'm sure I've mentioned this on the channel before, but I do usually find myself having a better front nine and this was definitely the case today. Whilst putting this video together, I think I just let that first triple bogey really get in my head and play havoc with my confidence. My concentration was also affected with some dodgy club choices, trying to chase the scores on some of those back holes. It's a lesson learned for next time. I hope you enjoyed the video golfers. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments as always. And please remember to like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Catch you next time.